Hey guys, what's up? Um, in this video, um, we're going to be talking about the new Nexus 5 and how to uh, probably, I think, two of the best plans that we can you can go with on the Nexus 5, which is bring your own phone and kind of pay as you go. Uh, and the two of them that I'm going to bring up today, and really I'm only going to focus on one because I think this is the best of the two. It just depends on your carrier and the reception you get and that kind of stuff. And I guess if you have a Target store around you. But uh, <clears throat> is Brightspot, which Brightspot is the um, plan now. It is on T-Mobile, so you'll be using T-Mobile towers. And you can see this is exclusively at Target and T-Mobile. And so what has gone on here, uh, and the other one I'm going to mention, and you'll see it in kind of in Walgreens and Walmarts and stuff like that, and it's straight talk. Um, but uh, I think this is probably the best of the two, and here's the straight talk, I'll just throw this in here real quick. Uh, if you see this kind of logo somewhere, and you see this is a Walmart brand, um, they're a little cheaper, the $45 for uh, Unlimited Nationwide, and uh, for 30 days, but we'll talk about that one here in a minute. First thing we're going to talk about is Brightspot, and and with any, any bring your phone plan, um, whatever, you're going to buy like a SIM kit. So this is the first thing you're going to pick up. These are $9.99 at Target. You pick up one of those. It has a SIM card in it. Um, it has a micro SIM and then just a standard SIM. And here is the actual standard and within this is the micro. And the Nexus 5 takes the micro. So you just break this out and you put it in the Nexus 5 um, which is right, uh, let's see, the little mi micro SIM slot right over here with the tool. Uh, pop that out, stick it in and then you go through an activation process and it's pretty straightforward activation process um, they have the steps in here that you go through and I'm gonna dot that out there but you know you got step one you have to record the serial number um, your activation code which is up here and your IMEI number of your phone and then you pick a security pin and you're good to go. Uh, you do all that on your phone once you get the SIM card in there uh, to activate it. Then you go to the website and you set up a Brightspot account and they'll give you the phone number and you just put in the phone number and you create your account. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're pretty much good to go at this point. Now, what you'll notice, and let's go ahead and bring up the phone here, is down here it's going to say Brightspot. So you know that that is your carrier that you're using. And the, the trick here is to get it to work. I had no problems with text and, and phone. I could make calls out once I get this activated. The only thing I couldn't do is data. So there is a trick. I'm going to have a link in the show notes to go over this. This is probably the most complicated part of setting this up. And you're going to go into your phone settings. and we'll do more and you're going to go into mobile networks make sure your data is enabled <clears throat> I would not recommend enabling data roaming <clears throat> uh, and then your network mode LTE as long as it's available in your area and access point names so this is a key area bright spot and what I had to do actually <clears throat> is set this up so you click on it and I'm going to have it on the show notes, but you're going to name it Brightspot. You're going to call it multi-brand. Uh, you're going to leave all these to default. On the MMSC down here, you're going to change this to what is going to be in the link. Um, everything else stays the same until you get down to APN protocol. By default, in KitKat is IPv6. Uh, you need to change that to AP, IPv4. Um, and really, those are the only changes in there. And then make sure you save it. Then the other area you need to go into is network operators and you will choose your network operator in here. It does take it a little bit to do the searching. <clears throat> Once you have all those changed and this set up to T-Mobile or Brightspot, your, your data, mobile data is going to work and <clears throat> work pretty well hopefully. So those are the key things. Then you get mobile plan, 
And then you can see Brightspot has no provisioning website, cell broadcasts, uh, you know, that's all pretty much standard stuff. You don't have to touch that. But the key area is in KitKat 4.4, .4, you just go into the mobile networks and configure that from the link that I'm going to have in the show notes for Brightspot. That is only for Brightspot. It is not for Straight Talk. Straight Talk's got its own. Um, and I may do a separate uh, Straight Talk uh, video as well. Now, why Brightspot? Okay, yeah, it's T-Mobile. Um, if you think T-Mobile bites and you don't have good coverage, then probably Brightspot's not the thing for you. But you can buy it at Target. Ten dollars for the SIM kit. Okay, then you're activated. Then you have a choice of plans. You can choose, and I'll show you here, thirty-five dollars for thirty days. But that's just going to get you talk and text, no data. So then you have to move up to the fifty-dollar plan, <clears throat> which is unlimited talk, text, and web. So at the first gig, you get it at the 4G's LTE speeds, but then after that they throttle you. So if you're going to be heavy on usage for data, prepare to get slowed down after you hit a gig. Um, and then if you do the 65 unlimited, it's up to 4 gig at 4G speeds, and that's for 30 days. So yeah, you're thinking that's kind of high, but here's the catch. If you have a target card, okay, you can save 5% when you buy uh, minutes. When you top up every 30 days, you got to buy another you know, set of minutes. Um, so you're going to save 5% five, 5 right there. Then also on the bright spot, if you do six months service in a row, you get a $25 Target gift card. Okay? So, and that's repetitive. So if you do this 12 months in a row, you're going to get two $25 Target gift cards. And that, so that's a pretty good deal. So you're going to, right there, you're paying for a month of it right there. But one thing that I do also with my phone um, is I use some apps and I'm gonna actually do a video for my app of the week uh, checkpoints uh, shopkick I have video for uh, these as well or links in the show notes for these they're how you can earn money with your phone and you can pretty much pay for your cell phone if you just use these apps and scan walk in stores whatever if you're out and about you live close to them pick up the points can't turn you know, cash them in for Target gift cards and pay for your plan. I mean, this is a great. There's no contract. You don't sign anything. There's no fees. Nothing for activation. You just activate and you go. But you got to pay for your minutes. And like I said, fifty bucks. I'm I'm doing the fifty dollar one because I'm gonna hopefully not have to use one gig um, over one gig on this. I have a couple other phones on Verizon and AT and T. So this is kind of nice. I've got it one on T-Mobile, and I can switch this if I don't want. To continue with Bright Spot, think uh, you know, say I purchased it for a month and I get out and I think it, it just sucks and um, no good coverage for T-Mobile. Uh, I could switch this to Straight Talk, which is on AT&T, or I could find whatever Sprint plan is out there and take this phone to Sprint. That's the glory of the Nexus is it's unlocked. Um, the only thing it will not work on is Verizon, so you're not going to get a Nexus 5 on the Verizon network. It's just not going to happen. So you're going to have to look for all those others like T-Mobile and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to show you this website for the, for the link in the show notes. Let's go ahead and scroll up. See if I can zoom in on this as best as I can. These are the instructions for setting up, as you can see here, uh, internet and picture messages settings on Android phones on Brightspot. And guys, this works on the Nexus 5. Um, so if you're a new Nexus 5 owner and you're wondering what plans are out here that are working the bright spot does work and I think straight talk does too I just haven't tested it yet but I did see some people in some forums saying that it does work and here exactly are the detailed instructions again I, I don't suggest the data roaming which you see around the screen right there just leave that off especially if you don't know the coverage with the carrier like T-Mobile in your area because you go to another tower you're gonna get charged extra for roaming don't do it um, so anyway here's the instructions if you're looking for a good plan to take a Nexus 5 to, Brightspot is probably what I think is the best one. Mainly because you get the 5% discount with the Target card. And it doesn't even have to be at a Target store. You can buy it online with your Target card. Get the 5% off. So you're already saving money there. Every six months, you're going to get a $25 Target gift card if you continually renew for month after month after month on reactivating your, your plan. <clears throat> From what I could tell, it doesn't matter if it's the 35 or the 65 or the $50 one. As long as you do six months in a row, you're going to get a $25 gift card. So, hey, what, what, what can you say? That's 
pain in your back, so it's not a bad deal at all. Um, again, if you want to do the, the straight tack, let's just quick take a quick look at this. They're a little cheaper. Uh, that's $45, and I believe they give you, oh, uh, let's see. I don't think they give you quite as much on the data for $45. And they don't have any activation fees. And if you do it for a year, it's going to really be a lot different than signing a deal with uh, a carrier. But, uh, let's see, uh, 30 megabytes of data on the $30. So, yeah, you're going to blow through that. You don't want that. 45 you get unlimited talk, text, and data. But I think they throttle you, too. They just don't advertise this after a certain amount. Um, so, you know, at least uh, with Bright bright Spot, they tell you up front after your first gig, you're going to get throttled down to under 4G speeds. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I highly recommend Bright Spot. I have it. I'm using it. Uh, of course, T-Mobile seems to work okay in this area. So, we're good to go. And it, it's an easy setup. You know, you can do it in maybe 15, 20 minutes if you're quick. And, uh, you know, you're good to go. Again, follow my links in the show notes um, for setups on the Android system. You do have to make some changes. The instructions are not 100% um, because they're kind of based on an older Android, so some of the titles really tell you to go. Um, it isn't quite the same, but it's close. So um, the screen I showed you, that's where you need to go. Everything is in there, and it pretty much matches up after that. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel. And again, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.